so it's been the holidays for me and so because of that I haven't had a lot of time to be able to interact with people and answer comments. I haven't read these comments, we're gonna get to do them together and have my honest thoughts on them. Okay, so they've been um, hatted and so uh, let's, uh, let's take a look and see how this goes. Here we go. Toxic masculinity, what a beeping joke. I got a lot of really angry comments from my video that was dealing with the boy's toxic masculinity. The funny part is I don't think that most people actually watched it because one is I didn't like, I actually stated in the video that I don't like the term tox toxic masculinity. It isn't a male thing. Men and women can be toxic and have this feeling that they have to be tough and not show any emotions. So I think that for most people that were actually angry about that video, they were angry about the title, but that was the Point. The point was that this character shows traits that we often call toxic masculinity, but that the term should just be toxic toughness or just toxicity. Um, so I don't think that they actually watched the video, or if they watched the video, they didn't watch up till that point, which is totally fine. But then they commented, which thank you for commenting. Um, but that was kind of my point to the video. This is ridiculous. As a licensed therapist myself, it's stupid to psychoanalyze a TV script in a mental disorder. You are foolish. <laughs> um, I, I fully can get that, yeah, it probably is a little bit more silly and less serious. I think that there's a reason why people are scared of psychotherapy or therapist or psychology because we take it so seriously and we often kind of you know, act like we know everything and deal with it. And so I think that I add something that's different, definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but kind of bring it down to reality and deal with it in a fun and easily accessible way. So fully understand I am a little bit foolish. Like I'm dressing up, sometimes I have ears. So you're right. I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. A uh, therapy is bull poop. I didn't say bull poop, but I'm gonna say bull poop because that's just me. Um, I, you can totally, like therapy depends on one, what you want. I don't think that therapy is good for everyone. I think that for some people it works really well. And if you find something else that works better for you, then that's great. It, not all paths lead to Rome. Therapy definitely can work, but you don't have to like it and you don't have to believe that if you don't want. They don't though. All paths don't lead to Rome. How do I stop caring what people think of me? Okay, that's like gonna be like a million. Three hours later. It's a really hard thing. I think that the first thing you need to know is that there's no way, no matter who you are, that everyone's gonna like you. That the most important thing is what you think of yourself. But I think that it's a multi-leveled process of going through understanding what your beliefs are, appreciating your own character, and working on your negative self-talk. You deal with that, then the voice and the thoughts of what other people think become less important as your voice becomes stronger. But that's kind of a short answer. Wednesday is greater than you. Yeah, she probably is. She's definitely cooler. I can't, yeah. I need to ask, where do you get all those costumes? So usually actually I go to secondhand stores. I end up picking different things up and then I will paint, cut, glue, stick things together to be able to kind of make it have the same theme as what it is in the videos. And I enjoy being able to make these subtle cosplays, these nods to the characters that I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, sometimes I just pick a character because I want to dress up as them. It is sad because I see how you're looking only for clickbait. I can see that you are a smart person. Thank you. Um, but you are only looking for easy views. You could talk about anthropology. Not really. I'm not an anthropologist. Like I can, I've taken some classes, but I really can't talk about anthropology. It would be horrible. You could talk about something else, but you are only for easy views. You are only looking about sex, cyberpunk, sorry, only looking about sex. Cyberpunk Edge Runners is about something else. Maybe you don't understand what it's about. That's okay, not everybody can. Shalom. Well, okay, fair. The video was on sex, but I've done like a whole bunch of different cyberpunk videos. Hopefully you've seen those. Maybe you've changed your mind. Sex is an important talk topic. I think that we deal with a lot of sex in our life and the psychology of sex is also really important. But I would say that probably out of most of my videos, sex is a very small percentage of it. So this is to the psychology of fear in Chainsaw Man, which is an anime. 
My spontaneous reaction when discovering this video was wholehearted laughter, not because there's anything wrong with it, not at all, but because of the mere existence of it. The utterly over-the-top content, the gore, the puke, the needlessness of it all, combined with the serious commentary by an actual professional therapist reacts. <laughs> um, therapist reacts to Chainsaw Man. That sounds like plumber reacts to the human centipede. <laughs> Oh, uh, I would watch the hell out of that video. <laughs> that has to happen. If there is a video out there, I want to see it. Send it to me. I love this timeline. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> that is sublime. <laughs> okay, this is to Cyberpunk Edgerunner's Sex Addiction. It is, I am... Highly confused by this lady. Is she a pirate? Xena's sidekick? Or the rapist? Oh, I know, I know. I didn't make the word therapist. I'm gonna try to make it so that it doesn't, I don't know how to make it look less like that, but like I get that comment to every single video. And I think that everyone thinks that they're the first person to say this joke. It just gets like auto so I don't know if anyone else sees it, but that's pretty much like most of my comments that have already been <laughs> Removed, like auto removed. I would love to be Xena's sidekick if I had the choice, but I'll take pirate for a second. But um, yeah, I'm often looking like someone, but I guess I failed on that cosplay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, who do you think is the most broken? Homelander or Billy Butcher? Whoa. The psychology of childhood trauma therapist reacts to the boys. Oh, that's such a, that one's such a hard one because I think that they're both broken, but in really different ways. I think that Homelander is more broken than Billy Butcher is because I think that Billy is actually trying to rebond and kind of fix himself. He is aware of certain amounts of his trauma, but for Homelander, I think that he really has this hard time to be able to parse the different pieces of himself. But I think that they are both exceptionally broken and both have very similar um, background histories that have created this trauma. And so because of that, they make this great two sets of hero, anti-hero, or let's just say protagonist and antagonist, because both of them have a lot of negative and positive traits in them, but it's a great question. This is The Fear of Abandonment, Jinx, Act One, Arcane. Hard to believe you even watched the show when you still call her V, oh, bloody hell, pronounced as Vi, geez, it's the little things. Ah, okay, so this one, this one I will just, I will live and die on because one is it was my first video that was really popular. So I woke up to um, a whole bunch of messages that I was getting all these angry tweets and you can't really take down a video. Once it's up, if I had taken it down and fixed it, I would have lost all these views and it was my first video that was really popular and I have this error that the entire way through the video, I'm saying V instead of Vi and I, kind of have a problem with my word bins. I say stuff that I don't mean. I use, I just pull out the first word that kind of comes to me and often it's wrong. So I'm often pronouncing words completely incorrectly. And yes, English is my first language, but I still do that. So um, I fixed it from there. I tried to put a sticky note, but pretty much almost all the comments. And at first I was actually replying to all of them and apologizing and letting people know I'm so sorry and I know and I can't fix it. I have watched Arcane many times and it is pronounced um, Vi on all the other videos. So I'm really sorry. And if you watch the compilation video, <laughs> it's been edited to say Vi instead of V. I'm really sorry. Does toxic masculinity exist? The therapist reacts to the boy's soldier boy. I bet she dates men like us. I don't even know what the us is. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Are you saying that you're toxic? Because no, I don't think people should date people that are toxic. The Just by being toxic, people shouldn't date you. You know, maybe you like that and you find that that's a strong trait. Awesome, if it works for you, great. I like the, like us, like that people are often like wrapping themselves up, like that they're like Soldier Boy. Like, I don't think that there's really that many people that are like Soldier Boy. Here we go. Oh yeah, okay. This I get 
all the time. Are you related to Courtney Miller from Smosh? You literally look like her. No, I am not. Um, but she seems really talented and wonderful, so thank you. Like, I think that every single video I get at least one person asking me if I am related to her or not. Um, I'm not. So those are some different comments. I don't know if you like this or hated this. Um, maybe we'll do it again, maybe we won't, but hopefully you'll see me in the next video. Looking for an ad-free way to check out my videos along with exclusive content from all your favorite Nebula creators? You should try out Nebula, where you can find my newly released Vox Machina compilation video, where I go through all your favorite Vox Machina characters found only on Nebula. This is also where you can find my two hour Jinx Arcane complete saga compilation ad free, which is good with it being two hours long. And Nebula is bundled in for free when you sign up with today's sponsor, CuriosityStream at curiositystream.com slash GeorgiaDow or by clicking on the link below. And right now today, because you're watching this video, you can get CuriosityStream for 26% off, less than one fancy coffee for the entire year. And that includes their thousands of amazing documentaries and series like David Eagleman's What is Reality? Neurologist and best-selling author David Eagleman reveals how our brains piece together reality and how we might expand our perception of the world around us. Signing up is the best way to support educational creators directly and the best deal in streaming today. For over 26% off, less than $15 a year and with Nebula thrown in for free. Yes, free. So just click on the button on the screen or head on over to curiositystream.com slash GeorgiaDow. Clicking on that link really does help out my channel and thank you to CuriosityStream for sponsoring this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.